Don't look at me, don't look at my eye, don't mind me, I'm just healing from a star. Don't, don't look at me. Wait, oh, did you write that? No, I was just thinking about it right now. Don't look at me, don't look at my eye, don't mind me, I'm just healing from a star. God, that's a hard one to repeat. Yeah, it is. Do it. Don't look at me, don't, don't look, look at my, my eye, don't, don't mind me, I'm just healing from a star. star. Why is that so difficult? It's the, it's the, the amount of syllables. I do have a sty, which I didn't get. Yeah. I didn't get punched. Josh! I did. It was Steph. It was hot. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. It's of Corbin. It's chlamydia. Are we two over on my side? Are you being cut off? Yeah, but what does it matter? Nobody looks at me anyway. Well, I think they do. Should they? No. But some of them do. There we go. Maybe that's, the, that's a little bit better. I think the old ladies do. Hey, what's happening, grandmas? <laughs> what's happening, aunties? Uh, anyways, today. Aunties in the panties. What? Aunt Tina. What about her? No. Uh, uh, you I'm got me excited for a second. I thought they listened to me and did a spin off. I am taking credit for this video. Because you remember in um, the Honest Trailers for RRR, right? Mm. And I was like, you know who should do something is the pitch meeting for RRR. Correct. He did one <laughs> for RRR. I'm going to take credit take for it. Take credit for Corbin takes Even credit. Even if he was already planning on it, I'm taking credit for it because I said it in that video. He I did. love this guy. Have you seen any of him before? Uh, no. But essentially what he does is he takes movies. I think this, and, this might be his first. And creates what was the pitch meeting for Yeah, I yeah. don't know how many... Didn't Keenan and Peele do that with, like, a Marvel film and did a fake pitch meeting for it? I don't know. Anyway. This guy is very famous for these. He's hilarious. I love him. But I don't know how... I definitely know he's had never done an Indian film. I don't know how many foreign films he's done, but RR is just changing the plot. Where's he from? Uh, he's American. Huh? He's an American guy. I don't know where he's from, but cool. he's with Screen Rant. Or... Shows you how popular RRR is in the States, y'all. It's true. It's gonna go, it's gonna uh, be nominated for an Oscar here soon. So is Austin Butler. I st I haven't seen it yet. So yeah. I can tell you. It's it's streaming now. I saw Nope. Yeah. What'd you think? I love Nope. Oh, you love? Didn't just like you loved? Well, it's still my third favorite Peel film. Well, yeah, but, uh, me too. But he's only had three films. Yeah, and I agree. It's my third favorite of uh, his. But I do love that he he, he tackled sci-fi uh, because I don't think enough people tackle sci-fi nowadays, especially that kind of sci-fi. Yeah. Um, and I, I I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was fun. Anyways, but that's not what this is. No. He might have done one for Nope, but this is for RRR, and I'm very excited because uh, I love these. Me and my wife have, like, binged the, his entire series. He's so funny. Here we go. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Well, actually, it's something that's in development over on the Tollywood side of things, and I figure we could, you know... Just grab the concept and remake it shot for shot, but with American <laughs> actors? Yeah. yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. I like the idea you had. I feel like this could kind of be a global hit just on its own. Okay, so what's it called? It's called RRR. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly, except now it stands for Rise, Roar, Revolt. I kind of roared. Yeah, a little. Amazing. <laughs> just before we get into it, I want you to know there will be a disclaimer saying that no wolves or tigers or bears or deer were injured in this thing, okay? Well, what the hell is this movie that you need to put a disclaimer like that? It's, um, you know, it's pretty much a bromance. What? But I just want you to know, when you see a man throw a leopard at another man in this bromance, that's not a real leopard. What kind of bromance is this? He's gonna see some tigers get punched a couple of times, once with a big flaming lantern. That is not a real tiger, okay? You know what? This this disclaimer is actually kind of the perfect intro, because now I need to know what the hell you're talking about. Fantastic, sir. So, you know, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> right, so in 1920 India, these evil British people go into this forest tribe, and they abduct a little girl because she sings good and whatnot. <laughs> you're not supposed to steal people, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, yeah, see, that's the thing. That is not a nice thing to do. So then the tribe's guardian beam sets off on this epic quest to go get this girl back. And what's his deal? Oh, he's super strong, sir. He outruns a tiger and then traps it and wrestles it. Jeez, that kind of feels like, you know, almost impossible. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem possible. Anyway, so the British hear about this guy, and so they task this guy, Raju, and the Indian Imperial Police with tracking him down. And what's this guy's deal? Oh, well, he's super strong, sir. He takes on a crowd of, like, a thousand <laughs> men, and he wins. All right, okay, so how are these guys able to do this stuff? Well, sir, you know physics? Yeah. Well, I don't, nor do I care to learn. 
fun. Oh, okay, gotcha. It does sound more fun to just ignore all that. Stuff. <laughs> and so then these two guys are going to become best friends pretty much instantly. Oh, how? By ignoring physics together. <laughs> happen to stumble upon this little kid that needs to be saved from this big bridge explosion. So without even talking, they do the most <laughs> elaborate, coordinated rescue in the world, and then they have like a 20-minute montage of friendship shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, well, well. Well. And then Bean's gonna spot this British woman, Jenny, that he gets a huge crush on. Okay. And turns out she's actually part of that British family that kidnapped the little girl. Wow, what are the odds of that? I don't know, but I feel the same way about odds and statistics as I do about physics. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. So I just creates an excuse for them to talk by popping the tires on her car and forcing it to stop right in front of them. Oh, uh, destroying women's property to get their attention is tight. Yeah. <laughs> so I met my first wife, actually, just absolutely crushed her mailbox. Very romantic, sir. Crush that property. So then what happens? Well, right away, Beam is like, can I go to your house? Yes, yeah, sure. Natural follow-up. Destroy your <laughs> belongings and then demand home entry. So anyway, eventually Beam figures out that this little girl is being kept in this palace place, so he barges in there with his men and unleashes a bunch of wild animals. Oh, he does. Yeah, and so people get mauled by tigers and bears and a guy gets a leopard thrown at him and another guy gets his arm stabbed by an antler. It's gonna be animal chaos. Wow, well listen, I had no idea I wanted to see all that stuff, but now it's what I want the most in the world. <laughs> Fantastic, sir. So eventually Raju's actually gonna arrest Beam, and so they're not friends anymore. A very big betrayal. So why is he doing what he's doing anyway? Ah, well see, we're actually gonna learn that this whole time he's been trying to infiltrate the British Empire to become a special officer and bring weapons back to his people and rise up. Ah, so they kind of want the same thing. Kind of, yeah. And so when he realizes that, he helps Beam escape, but then he gets captured. So they're like taking turns being imprisoned. Now just once each and then they're pretty sick of it. Understandable. <laughs> find out about Raju anyway. Oh, well one day a random woman took him in and fed him and it turns out that was Raju's fiance. Wow, gee, what are the odds of that? <laughs> All right, sir, looks like you're back on my back about odds and statistics again. Oh, uh, my bad. Let me get off of that freaking unlikelihood loving back of yours. Thank you. So then we're going to see Raju in prison and the British guards say they're only feeding him one meal a week, you know, just enough to keep him alive. Oh, geez, he must be withering away. <laughs> Actually, no, he's in there doing pull ups, yep. putting in that work, building that muscle. Yeah. Not really how muscles work, though. You need protein to make them grow. Hey, shut up. And so then Bean comes to rescue him, but he's got a busted leg, so it's kind of tricky. Oh, man, well, it's going to be hard for them to get out of that situation. Nah, uh, Actually, no, it's going to be super easy. easy. Yeah. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, Bean lifts him up onto his shoulders, and then they can fight like crazy together. You'd think that'd be a pretty big tactical disadvantage because now they're a bigger and slower target. <laughs> you see, it basically turns them into Goro from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> So then Beam is going to put some leaves on Raju's leg, which fixes it immediately. <laughs> yeah, all leaves work sharp. And now that they're both back to 100%, it's time to go nuts on the British. Oh, boy. So they just go absolutely insane and take a bunch of them out with arrows and stuff. They kick motorcycles. Then they launch a motorcycle into a room that's filled with TNT and kill all the bad guys. Okay, how could they have possibly known which room to aim and coordinate? You know what? Actually, I feel like you're not going to have any answers for me, so just never mind all that. Now you're getting... So all the bad guys die and all the good guys live and they have a big, big dance number. They dance so much and be very, very happy. That is how most movies should end, if you ask me. Although the alternate ending we shot for the Batman did not test well. So that's about it. What do you think? Well, I mean, it sounds like a pretty good time, but you really think this is going to be a huge hit around the world? Okay, so let me just reiterate. In this movie, in the middle of a fight scene, a guy just straight up throws a leopard at another guy. That's a good point. Yeah, okay, I hear it now this is gonna do well <laughs> hi everybody ryan here thanks for watching that video i hope you enjoyed it you can let me know in the comments uh, section the that's about right yeah that's that's his whole like the yeah it's super easy barely it's in every single video so it's the wow 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 like he does the same thing just right. with every single different movie you can think of he's done um and i absolutely love him that was funny that i was, liked it yeah that is good i so, enjoyed that a lot there you go, Academy. Nominate RRR. <sighs> Vigo India submitted. For best. Everything. Overall picture. Everything. Nominated for everything. I have, uh, I have friends who have not only seen it, they've now shown their parents and their significant yes. others. Yes. And, like, you, I don't think you guys realize how big of a deal this movie is in America. Never been anything like it. Obviously, I'm sure, even though I... 
I do not believe you've seen 10,000 films like this because we've seen a bunch of films. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure we've been in recommended films, and there's been no films like this. You can no. say. And I'm, obviously this film is because of Bahubali, but I don't think Bahubali holds a candle to RRR, no, in my and opinion. The, and the majority of people here who, who have seen RRR still don't know about Bahubali. They will now. Yeah, yeah. They'll watch that probably now because of RRR, but... I can tell you that obviously this is nothing like since we've started OSR, but paying attention to cinema, the last time a film from India garnered any attention like this was Slumdog. That's it. Yeah, and that's not an Indian film. No. Yeah. Um, so. It had a whole bunch of Indian actors in it, which is great. Oh, yeah. The collaborative artistic team was... A.R. Rahman. He and, won an Oscar for it. Yeah. So it had a collaborative team telling a story in India with Indian actors, but it was, a still, uh, a it American was still an American production. production. But that's that's what I mean as far as a film that is loaded and about and from artistry of India. There's and there's nothing not, like it. it. There's also not been the craze around a foreign film no. like this since Parasite, I'd Correct. say. I agree. I and mean, this is a different no, kind I mean, of craze. Yeah, obviously that that was that was like, oh, go see this movie. It's an Oscar winner. And this is go see this movie. It's freaking amazing. And, and feelings were mixed for Parasite. Mm -hmm. So nobody denied the artistic merit. They're like, mm -hmm. I understand why it won, but it's just I didn't like it that much. There were there were some people that were that way. I have yet to talk to anybody in America. In America that's seen R R R and doesn't Lo not like doesn't love it yeah it is so it's that big of a deal yeah and <laughs> i don't you can say you don't care about the oscar that's totally fine you don't have to care about the oscars it's an american award americans love this movie if you if the job of the indian jury is to make sure they get nominated oh let's go with the one all the americans like <laughs> yeah and, and and it is a consistent thing at all of the film festivals to talk about what has oscar potential like Award season's kicking off right now at the Venice Film Festival, and that's what happens when things premiere at the Venice World at the Venice Film Festival. Everybody starts talking about is this thing going to get nominated? So mm -hmm. it's just it's it, it's what happens here, and they are the granddaddy of all of our film awards. So, mm -hmm. well, that was great. I loved it, and it was super easy, barely an inconvenience. Wow, wow, that wow, was wow, fun. Wow. Yeah, he's Good. fun. You should go through. Good it. editing. You should go through a <laughs> series of. Uh, of of his pitches, like yeah. of because you love so many movies that he's done pitches for, yeah. Um, like uh, da, 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 da. obviously he's done all the uh, the Harry Potters, the the big Marvel films and stuff like that, man. Um, but like he's done probably like Jaws, he's done classics, all that kind of stuff. So you can just go through it if you could think of a movie. He's probably done a pitch for it. He's been around for he doesn't even have a million subscribers. How is that possible? Huh. Oh, I think he originally was on the Screen Rant page, and then he. Hey, he I don't. Got it. I don't think he's with Screen Rant anymore. Maybe he is. No, nope, he is by Screen Rant. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why you do, because he has this. It's only showing very few of his. Uh, yeah, it's only going to six months ago. No, no, he's been around for years. Anyways, la. Let's know the video. Let's know the video. Imagine. Just. <laughs> <laughs> 